How much for that condo these days? How much are these condos costing these days? What is the price of condos in Toronto? Okay, friends, UFC Captain here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker. And today I'm going to talk to you about what's happening in the summer of 2020 regarding prices. Everyone wants to know, are prices down or up? How many units on the market? All that stuff. So I'm going to give you a quick uh, review, okay? And what you can do is you can you can follow up with me by opening the TREB reports um, or go to any of my sites and uh, get some more information, some more stats on those. But I'm just going to tell you what it is. So it's like this. Uh, the average price of a good deal in Toronto is about $1,000 a foot. $1,000 a foot. And that's, and you can hear the construction. It's everywhere. It's just not stopping. And uh, for $1,000 a foot, you're going to get your average typical condo. Uh, in, and I say in Toronto, I mean from the Don to the from the Don to the Humber and from the water to 401. Um, I'm not going uh, east of Don, I'm not going west of Humber, and I'm not going north of 401. And the lakes are the south, so that's my boundary. So for a thousand market foot, you can get decent units. Now, the further you're out from Young Line, Yorkville at the top, and, and kind of the center, Entertainment District, Financial District, King Queen West, the further you get out of that kind of T, the cheaper it gets, but you you are on Young Street, on Bay Street in Yorkville. You're paying way more than a thousand dollar foot. You may be paying thirteen, fifteen, eighteen hundred in a couple of buildings. If you're King West, smaller unit will cost you about twelve hundred a foot. Five hundred square foot unit about six hundred thousand, so that's twelve hundred a foot. And you know when the as the unit go up in size, the dollar per foot tends to go down a little bit with the exception of the penthouse, which the dollar per foot should be the highest in the building. The penthouse is built right and designed right. It's got some view and a terrace and fuss and all, all, all the good things. That's part of your investment. Now, you can pick up some assignments these days in a $1,000 a foot for the one bedroom and maybe nine fifty, even $9.20. I've seen some. Uh, pretty close. So West King West, uh, Strawn. Zen, uh, Zen King, uh, Zen, Zen King West condos, some nice units there. Um, the units on Strawn, they're being built right now. Uh, just the budding uh, Fort York and the new Stanley Park South. So you can find some good uh, deals there if you're interested. Let me know, and uh, I have a list of them. I can I can uh, tell you what's going on there. If you want to sell them, you can ask me how much you can get for them, and I'll tell you that too, more or less. Um, and and uh, as you get away from the center, and Toronto's biggest problem is, of course, transportation and public transportation. We got it's a joke. So we have two subway lines, one like this and one like that. And uh, if you're away from those subway lines, the, the price tends to drop. So the closer you are to the subway line, and of course, in the very very center, the core, the core all along Young and Bay, ended up in the Yorkville there. That's your most expensive area. 1500 a foot, easy. And new construction is going on uh, right here, King West, 2000 a foot, if you can find the unit. Uh, Tridel, the well, 1400 $1,500 $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, a foot. So if you find that uh, Zen King West for $1,000 a foot, it's, it's 40, 50% less, and it's just a mile away, maybe not even. So that's what. But that, that proximity to the center really um, trumps everything else. And it, 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 the proximity to the center in Toronto, you can literally draw it on a map, and these are the most expensive areas, from there it kind of drops. So if you want more space for less money, or you want to pay less, or you want more space for the same amount of money, you got to get away from the expensive area into cheaper and cheaper areas. And if location is important to you, then you know what the, you know, you can ask me what's the average dollar per foot for a condo in the area, for a new condo, for a not so new condo, and I'll tell you, I'll give you those stats, then if you look for, say, 800 uh, square foot condo at $1,000 a foot, 800,000, add three zeros. If it's uh, 1,100, then you got to add 10%, eight, 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 eight zeros, 800, 880,000 dollars, and if it's less 10%, so you're looking at 720, something like that, okay? So that's how it works. Um, the prices are pretty stable. I don't see any panic selling. 
Uh, there's very little units on the market. They added some units in May, and that caused all this, all the, all these units should just be eaten alive. And houses, especially, very, fi- very hard to find a house these days. So that keeping the price at a at a at a good level. Um, and that's what you got. <laughs> uh, most of the houses I'm looking for clients these days are in a 1.5 range, 1.6 to 1.8. And those are quite spacious. Uh, they could have several units in them, two or three usually, or just one large family home. You can find these. They're still a good deal in my opinion. They're still here. And a uh, $1,000 a foot is a really good price within the area that I told you. Good building. You're doing really good. All right. That's it for today. Thank you.